Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency invited and interrogated popular socialite Obina Iyegu, popularly known as Obi Kubana, for his alleged link to illegal narcotic business. It was gathered that Obi Kubana, who arrived at the Abuja headquarters of the agency at about 9 a.m. on Thursday, was grilled for over five hours by NDLA operatives. He was, however, granted bail and asked to return at a future date. Sources revealed that suspicious payments were made into Kubana's account by three convicted drug dealers from Malaysia, Nigeria, and India. At number four, gunmen allegedly launched an attack on Ancha village in Miango district, Basa local government area of Plateau state on Thursday, killing at least 15 people. The gunmen attacked the community at about 1 a.m. while residents were asleep. The victims are believed to be members of the Irigwe ethnic group. Confirming the incident in an interview on Thursday, the spokesperson of the Irigwe ethnic organization, Davidson Mallison, said six people were also injured in the attack. He added that more than 20 houses were burned, while many vehicles, motorcycles and food crops were also destroyed. At number three, the Forum of the All Progressives Congress State Legislatures in the North Central has promised Kogi State Governor Yaya Bello of their support to help him realize his ambition as Nigeria's president in 2023. The North Central lawmaker's pledge was contained in a communique issued at the end of an extraordinary meeting of the Forum on Thursday in Abuja. The statement was read by the former Speaker of Niger House of Assembly, Ahmed Marafa. Marafa said the forum agreed that it was the turn of the North Central to produce Nigeria's president in 2023. At number two, Queen Elizabeth has approved the stripping of all of Prince Andrew's military titles and royal patronages as he faces sexual abuse lawsuit. Andrew's military affiliations and royal patronages have been returned to the Queen with her approval and agreement. In a statement yesterday, Buckingham Palace said that the Duke of York will be defending a civil sex abuse lawsuit in the United States as a private citizen. In a statement yesterday, Buckingham Palace said that the Duke of York will be defending a civil sex abuse lawsuit in the United States as a private citizen. The statement said, with the Queen's approval and agreement, the Duke of York's military affiliations and royal patronages have been returned to the Queen. The Duke of York will continue not to undertake any public duties and is defending his case as a private citizen. At number one, the federal government has inaugurated a 23-member board of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Recall that the appointment of the board members was confirmed by the Senate in October 2021. According to a statement released by the EFCC spokesperson, Wilson Uldaren, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Bos Mustafa, performed the inauguration on behalf of the federal government in Abuja yesterday. The newly inaugurated board has a tenure of five years. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.